Hello. So this uh, video will be covering how uh, Beaver Builder theme works. So a lot of people have asked, um, so what exactly is Beaver Builder? There's actually two parts to Beaver Builder. There is um, the Beaver Builder theme and then also the Beaver Builder plugin. So with the theme, you can really modify um, everything else outside of of the um, of the body of the inside of the site uh, like we're talking about the navigation the menu styling overall uh, the color scheme and then the plugin you can modify the internal workings um, like or basically the body the insides um, inside area of this particular site so here we are um, we have a, a sample test environment here um, and, and it just kind of defaults to this particular page. So just to kind of show you in the back end, we have the plugins, the theme here. We have the Beaver Builder and the Beaver Builder Child theme. Make sure you work on the child theme. Do not work on the parent theme because when there's an update, um, it will override that. So we're on the uh, child theme. So the next thing we want to do is work on customize. With customize, you can you can custom you can hit the customize here, or what I like to do is uh, be right on the home page and hit customize right here too. That's another way of getting to the options. So one of the uh, very similar to WordPress in general, but you'll see a, a few extra options on the left hand side uh, because we have the Beaver uh, Builder Child theme. One of the first things you'll notice is the presets. You can play around with the standardized presets to kind of give it the overall layout, look and feel of, of the site. Um, so if you want a, a more of a full, full width or a fixed width, you know, play around with that. So uh, let's just say we, we go with Stripe. So that's kind of like our starting point. And then from there, you, we have our general options, the overall layout. So everything's kind of tweaked. The presets basically tweak all the options. And then from there, you can go into a deeper dive into the different aspects uh, of the site, from accent colors to uh, headings. Just be careful that once you make the change, don't, re don't change the preset because it will override all your savings, um, all your saves. So on the content wise, you can change the content background, the overall um, blog layout, author, uh, post layout, what should be uh, visual uh, displayed, and then also on the footer area. One thing to note in the uh, footer layout, by default, you'll see that this is the default, whatever the uh, name of the page is, and then powered by Beaver Builder. If you want to change that, you need to add something here, then it will automatically override that. So let's just do something like this. Choose, let's say it's designed and developed by Design Source Media. At that point, you save and publish. Then, right there, this area does take HTML, so you can modify that there. Um, so from you, know, you have your standard uh, widgets. Basically, the the there's a four column widget on the bottom. You can you can add more here. Um, any particular special code, it's all done here rather than on the back end. So if there's CSS code that needs to be laid out or a header code on all, on all pages, uh, example JavaScript or a header code, you may want to put Google Analytics or Google tagging on there. That's where you would go for that. Um, you have your settings, the social media links are right here. So when you reference the social media options, that's where that is being pulled. Um, so there's, there's, in a nutshell, the Beaver Builder theme. So now, what about, what about the, um, the plugin? So one of the things that we don't have, it looks like, activated. Uh, is the plugin. So we're going to activate it. So now we have the Beaver Builder plugin. Now you'll notice uh, once we add it. Oh, well, it's not active right now, so let's, let's activate it. 
All right, so now we have the plugin activated um, and the license added to to the plugin. Um, one of the new things that you'll you'll see is uh, when we add a page, <clears throat> you'll see the new option of Page Builder. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Page Builder. So now with Beaver uh, Builder plugin, there's all these different standardized templates that you can use. But for the most part, um, we like to go with a blank one. But you know, just just for the demo here, let's just go ahead and just pick um, one of the layouts here, the moon landing. So now with this, everything's kind of built uh, with a basic template, and you can just go ahead and just modify this. Everything here, you can hover over your mouse and just easily change text right then and there. Um, as you're done, you hit done, you hit publish changes, and voila, now we have this particular page. And just like in standard WordPress, you can um, you can change the, uh, the page ID, let's just call it home. And then now we have um, the home page, but before we we do that or before we can actually see it displayed on the home page we also need to change it to uh, in, the, in the settings in believe reading change static page the front page the home because we just created that so now when we go back to the home boom we see the moon landing the template that we were working on so there you have it, a quick intro on uh, Beaver Builder theme and Beaver Builder plugin and the main differences. Okay, have a good day.